You ready for your order, gentlemen? <laughs> and I felt these pieces of wood being put on me. I mean, I cannot tell you, Wally, what I was going through. And then the stretcher was lowered into the grave, and then this wood was put on me, and then my valuables were put on me in my hands, and they'd taken, you know, a kind of sheet or canvas, and they'd stretched about this much above my head, and then they shoveled dirt into the grave so that I really had the feeling of being buried alive. I mean, is Mount Everest more real than New York? I mean, isn't New York real? I mean, you see, I think if you could become fully aware of what existed in the cigar store next door to this restaurant, I think it would just blow your brains out. I mean, I mean, isn't there just as much reality to be perceived in the cigar store as there is on Mount Everest? I mean, what do you think? You see, I think that not only is there nothing more real about Mount Everest, I think there's nothing that different in a certain way. I mean, because reality is, is uniform in a way, so that if, you're, if your perceptions, are, I mean, if your own mechanism is, is operating correctly, it would become irrelevant to go to Mount Everest and, and sort of absurd because, I mean, it just, I mean, I mean, of course, on some level, I mean, obviously, it's very different from a cigar store on 7th Avenue. But, but I mean, well, well, I agree with you, Wally, but the problem is that people can't see the cigar store now. I mean, things don't affect people the way they used to. I mean, it may very well be that 10 years from now, people will pay $10,000 in cash to be castrated just in order to be affected by something.